Good morning from the Little Side Trail on a rainy day. This is Steve with my hiking buddy Gino. Hello. And uh, I'm just trying this out here. It's still dark. Um, I always do trip reports and say we started out under headlamp power. So I wanted to see if uh, the headlamps light up and we can see anything. So kind of a test video here. Uh, we'll check in in a while. That headlamp is Gino. So we've made the long traverse to the back side a little sigh. Starting our climb up. It's actually, Gino, what time is it? It's actually 7.30, but this, like I said, is a gloomy, dark hike, and today, today's weather isn't helping. But uh, speaking of the weather, so we were actually going up to Tallapus and Olali Lakes and got up uh, past North Bend on I-90 and hit a monsoon, and uh, we hiked last Saturday in a monsoon-like conditions on Tiger Mountain and we were talking about it and we said geez do we want to do this again get soaked and so we haven't been up to Little Si in a long time um, probably pre-COVID and uh, have wanted to get up here oops I'm going the wrong way no I'm not and uh yeah, I am. <laughs> Too busy filming and not paying attention here. Well, go overland. Anyway, um, we wanted to come up here for a long time and decided to uh, save Talapus and Olali. It's a lower elevation hike, so we should be able to do it in a few weeks. Or for the next few weeks, I should say. And we'll... Uh, go back and try that and in the meantime turned around and came down here to Little Sai and that's what we're doing so we'll check in again at the top uh, this backside um, gets steep in spots so a lot of rocks to climb over so okay check in in a bit this is what the backside looks like a lot of rocks to climb over like this we, uh, I'll show you on the way down, there's a lot of trees down from the windstorm, and we uh, pulled a big one out of the way. We don't have it all the way out. We're going to get it on the way down. I'll film Gino pushing it off to the side, but uh, little Cy is still up there. Okay, more rock climbing to, to do. So the closer we get to the top, Less rocks to go over, less boulders to climb. We're almost there. Heading up this way, we're going to loop around, switch back up, and then summit's right over that ridge. I don't know, about 10 minutes away. Check in at the top. I'll take you with me the last few uh, feet to the summit of Little Sai. We'll see what kind of view we have up here. It's a big pile of rocks. Or should I say one big rock. And we made it. This is the summit of Little Mount Sai. Of course, this is Big Mount Sai. And uh, North Bend is below us. Way off in the clouds, that is, uh, throw my poles down. That's Rattlesnake Ledge. North Bend. And uh, in the clouds, Rattlesnake Mountain there. Cloudy morning, no rain at the moment, no breezes, no wind. 
So we made it up here. And uh, I'll probably film more on the way down. This is actually for a short hike. It's a little over two miles from the parking lot to the summit. Uh, there's a lot of neat things to look at. There's uh, on the, the side right here of Little Sai, it's a popular rock climbing and rock climbing training area. I'll film that. There's a cool memorial bench down there to Doug Hansen, and I'll film that. And then uh, I think we're going to probably take the Boulder Garden Loop on the way back, which adds some mileage and goes up to a big field of boulders that looks like a garden. So anyway, a little chilly this morning, as to be expected as we're looking at Sai. Oh, and the trail between Little Sai, or this trail, goes right between, it's down here in the, at the bottom down here, there's a trail, kind of a valley between Little Sai and Big Sai, and I'll film that too. So, more to see on the way back than there was on the way up. It was so dark when we started. Um, but, uh, pleasant morning. We got out of the rain, that's for sure. I'm guessing up toward uh, the pass where we were headed, it's still raining. So, uh, okay, time to refuel and recharge, and uh, we'll check in quite a bit on the way down. Thanks for watching, and thanks for hiking with us. So at the summit of all these peaks in the Cascades, there are these little uh, USGS little survey markers. This one looks like it was made by Renton Technical College, and it, as you can see, it says Little Psy. And uh, anyway... That's the official summit mark, and I'm standing right over it. So when Gino and I hike, we like to do trail maintenance. And uh, on the way up, this was in the way. And Gino said, you're never going to be able to move it. And I did. So Gino, take it from here. here on the count is. of three. There it goes. <laughs> Gino's no girly man. <laughs> Look at all this crap. We've been picking crap up all the way today. And uh, all clear. trail is clear per Gino. He wants a free pass. Um, yeah, we just try to do our part, uh, throw brush and branches and stuff out of the way. Here's another tree. We can't move. Gino, you'd really be uh, Arnold if you moved this one. This one's really big. So we'll just step over this one. But a uh, lot of stuff down today after yesterday's windstorm. So just a little, uh, little tidbit of info of what we do on the trail. Your two trail ambassadors, Steve and Gino. Oh, here's a branch that I can move. Get this one out of the way. There it goes. Okay, check in in a while. So we made it down to the trail that bisects uh, Little Sai and Big Sai. So to my right is Little Sai, where we just came from, up there. And uh, Mount Sai is off that way. So. Just kind of a notch here between them and the trail just uh, bisects them and uh, there's a spot right up here that gosh seems like five years ago but it was probably ten I came up early on a Sunday morning and uh, I was the first one in the lot and uh, discovered this there had been a rainstorm the Saturday before and a big uh, rock, mud, etc. field came down. So the trail used to go right through here, but this all came down and um, kind of covered the trail that first morning. It was real interesting crossing it. Okay, I'll check in at Doug's bench. So I mentioned the rock climbing earlier and uh, I'm at the base. This is uh, actually a little Psy looking straight up. You can see these uh, walls are pretty sheer. Trail actually goes up here a little bit. I'll, I'll go up the trail a bit, see if I can get a better view for you guys. But uh, you see a lot of guys come up here. I'm not a rock climber, but uh, a lot of people come up and uh, climb with the ropes and stuff. And I mean, it is straight up. And uh, as I mentioned up above, we have seen uh, King County Search and Rescue practicing up here. We've also seen the sheriff a couple times. Uh, got to the parking lot one day and the sheriff was there and I said, is everything okay? And he said, yeah, they were just practicing. It's 
So, whoop, got a hiker coming, I'm gonna shut off. Another look at the sheer rock wall here. I mean, my head's craned back about as far as it can. How tall do you think that is, Gino? Oh, but it's a good practice site. This and up at exit 38, I think, is the other one where a lot of people rock climb. Boulder Garden, too. Uh, oh, and up in the Boulder Garden, which we're going to go to later. Uh, we're up to five hikers this morning, so uh, more than we kind of expected for kind of a dreary day. Okay, we're almost at the bench, and I'll uh, give you a little story about the bench when I get there. So, I don't know if we can see this in the light. Let me step back. This is a bench for uh, Doug Hansen, who uh, lost his life on Mount Everest. If you've read... Uh, John Krakauer's book, Into Thin Air. Doug was one of the climbers that didn't make it. Thank you, Gino. Um, basically, it says, in memory of Doug Hansen, who disappeared after reaching the summit of Mount Everest, May 10th, 1996. Doug was an ardent mountaineer, a devoted father, and a rock-solid friend who loved climbing in the Cascade Range. We miss you a lot, Doug. But uh, the sad thing about it, thanks, Gino. Um, the sad thing about it, if you've read the book, um, Doug had attempted Rainier or Everest the year before, and uh, they were about 100 yards from the summit, and uh, the weather turned, and the guide he was with turned him around and said, no, nope, we can't go. And uh, the same guide the following year, I think he felt bad, and he talked Doug into doing it. Doug was a postal worker, didn't have a lot of money, and he talked him into it and uh, gave him a break on the guiding fee and climbing fee, and... They went up and the weather turned again, except this time they kept going. And uh, it's real interesting. You can read about it in John Krakauer's book, which is an outstanding book, I might add. And uh, if you haven't read it, you should. But uh, just kind of a tragedy. And I was telling Gino, he was one of, I think, 10 or 11 that died up there. And uh, But I was telling Gino, we don't know why that bench is on Little Psy. Um uh, obviously his friends and family had it erected, but we don't know if he, he climbed up here or hiked up here or what, but uh, just kind of interesting. One of many memorials you actually see on these smaller peaks in the, in the Issaquah North Bend area, Tiger, Tiger Mountain has a number of them, but uh, maybe later on this year I'll film some of those. So anyway, we always pay our respects to Doug, and... Uh, we will continue on. We've, uh, we're up to five hikers now. We just saw another another solo. So, Okay, next stop, uh, the turn to the Boulder Garden. We'll check in up there. I'm nearing the crest of the Boulder Garden Trail, but the trail cuts through here between all these big boulders. Uh, just bisects them. This trail's only a mile and a half. It adds a mile and a half. It's a loop trail and uh, two access points along the little side trail. And uh, we came up, we always come up the steep, the steep side. More boulders over here. Anyway, we always come up the steep side, um, which I think is about a half mile. And then we've got the longer side, which is about a mile back down to the little side trail. So. Just had some mileage and we got some hikers up here taking the old side trail, so I'm going to shut off and talk to them. Stand by. So as I mentioned earlier, the Boulder Garden Trail it reaches its apex and then the trail, if you want to continue, that's the way up the Old Mount side trail. There were two gentlemen here taking a break and they are heading up that way. That is a very steep trail and in, at spots unmaintained. They were telling me they were worried about blow down from uh, yesterday, the wind. And then we're going to continue this way on the Boulder Garden, and it, it heads back down now. We've reached the top here. Um, got a trail sign here. So, no rain, Gino? Nope. And uh, so what we're up to, we had five on Little Sai and those two, so we're up to seven hikers. So we'll check in one final time before we get back to the car. So another trail you can access up here, and Gino and I have done it, is the Doug Fir Trail, which goes that way. And that connects over on the side of Mount Sai. I was going to mention the actual uh, Mount Sai Trail, it's been redone. This used to be the way to go. Um, you come up Little Sai and then you take what's now called the Old Sai Trail. 
And the new trail is about three miles down the road here and uh, Mount Size over to my left and the trail actually comes uh, this way so it's easy to connect and earlier this year Gino and I took that Doug Fir trail and connected so it's kind of a fun trail okay it's uh, actually it opens up here and uh, it's getting lighter it's still cloudy one thing that's ever present on this hike especially today Gino have you noticed the I-90 traffic noise yep. so always a uh, accompanying you on this hike especially with the low clouds today okay we'll check in in a while more big uh, boulders here on the boulder garden loop As we head down haven't seen anybody since the two guys up there at Old Sai and uh, we're fast approaching the bottom um, so we're still at seven hikers today Check in one final time down here. I think I'll probably check in before we get to Little Side Trail because uh, I'm guessing there will be quite a few people and it's narrow in spots and it's kind of steep when you head down to the parking lot. So check in one more time here before we leave the Boulder Garden Loop. So this is Steve checking in one final time on the Boulder Garden Loop. We're approaching the Little Side Trail and then uh, where it connects it's about a half mile to the parking lot. It's uh, Pretty steep going down to the parking lot, narrow, rocky, a lot of roots, so I don't want to film that. Um, but anyway, I was going to mention, uh, this was kind of a backup for us. We intended to do Talapas and Olali Lakes, and uh, got past North Bend on I-90, and it was just a monsoon. And uh, we hiked last Saturday, like I said, in a driving rainstorm, so... Neither of us was real enthused about doing it again today, especially that trail, which is a muddy trail. And um, when Gino and I hike, well, I've got a tree down here, hold on. Step over it. A lot of trees down today. Um, step over, duck under, etc. But um, like I was saying, Gino and I, whenever we hike, we, we always are talking about trails we want to hike. And uh, we had mentioned Little Sai, which we haven't done since before COVID hit. So we had mentioned it a few weeks ago, oh, we got to go up to Little Sai at some point. And uh, we turned around up at Talapas and Olali at the road up there. And Gino said, hey, let's give Little Sai a try. And we were kind of laughing because it kept raining all the way down to North Bend. And then it let up. We actually started in light rain. and uh, But it wasn't too bad. But uh, pays to have a backup. So right now our intent is to get back up to Olali and Talapas maybe next week um, we're gonna wait and see what the weather's like and uh, go from there so hope you enjoyed this one uh, I'm just gonna keep it going here's the little side trail right here anyway hope you enjoyed this hike we did and uh, thanks for thanks for hiking thanks for watching see you later